and welcome to another edition of Style RX. Fridays are quickly becoming my favorite day. So if you're watching us on YouTube and you're a subscriber, you got that notification that we have a new video. If you're on IGTV, it's probably the weekend. So happy Labor Day weekend. Today we are talking all about body types. And so while we're going to be sharing some fun tips and tricks for maximizing your body type, know that as with color or anything else, you wear what makes you feel amazing, but we're going to share some fun tips and tricks to really help balance proportions with um, your specific body type. So I'm going to start out with the, um, the triangle body type, which means that you're a person that your hips are wider than your shoulders. So you kind of have that triangle um, shape. And so what we're looking to do, it's a little bit like art class. And I, as a makeup artist, I talked about it a lot that what we make darker gets recessed or pushed back. What we make lighter gets brought forward. And it's the same way with our clothes. So lighter colors brighter colors our eyes are drawn to that and darker colors just kind of fade away into the background so keep that in mind no matter your body type you can use that little trick because if you want to minimize something you can put it um, in a darker color so with the triangle body shape we are looking to broaden the shoulders a little bit. And I love our little Elaine dress for several reasons. First of all, it's one and done. And you know, in the summertime, I love one and done dressing, but this has an impure waist. It falls nicely. So you don't see, you know, hips first. It's got ruching around the bust and then it has a straight back. Also, good arm coverage for those of you looking for arm coverage, but because of this squared off neckline, it helps create just a little bit more width across your shoulders, which then balances with the hips. So there's your first tip and trick for an inverted um, or a pear shape or triangle shape body type. We've, we've gone with fruits for so very long that, um, yeah, we talk about fruits or shapes, however you'd like to refer to your body type, there it is. Narrower shoulders, wider hips. Amy, did you wanna share just a little trick with your diamond body type that you're gonna talk about first? Yes, yeah, so I think the thing to remember as well at, is that I am going to be covering diamond and rectangle and the main definition is that there is not a defined waist. So some rules for diamond can also be true, true for rectangle. And Rebecca is covering our triangle and our hourglass. And those two body types do have a defined waist. So some of the similar rules will also apply to both. So really many of you already know what you're comfortable in and what you feel good in. There may just be a few things that you're not sure how to handle it. So the first body type I'm truly speaking about is a diamond. And if you think of a diamond, it's two triangles upside down, like one on top, one upside down. And the width of that double diamond or double triangle is through the center and through the body. And so the idea is that we are always trying to get some curves and some shape into those triangles. Now, when you do not have a defined waist, it's really easy to feel like you're a big box, okay? Whether you're rectangle or diamond. And we really want to get that visual of that you do have some curves. And a lot of women um, with a diamond body type tend to carry their weight in their chest. They don't always have to, but most of their weight is through their tummy area and maybe into their hips. They have fabulous legs for the most part. So you'll notice that the, the pieces that I talk about today are, we are going to try and accentuate the things that you love. And as Rebecca talked about, maybe bring some shade or some dark to those parts that maybe you don't love so much or create some really great silhouettes. So 
the first thing I want to talk to you about is your legs. And because you tend to have really nice fit toned legs, or that's the part of your body that you love the most, a skinny jean or a legging is a real beneficial silhouette for you. And so the first thing I want to show you is our season's skinny jean. There's two reasons I really love this. One is a little bit lower rise, so it's not going to come up right on that area that you may carry more weight and be a little more uncomfortable. But also, this is a nice, lean, dark, indigo, clean jean. And so it's really going to allow you to show off those legs. You will be able to drape anything over this beautifully, and you'll have lots of length with that beautiful, dark, lean, skinny jean. Now, just because we're talking legs and jeans, it doesn't mean your bottom half has to be boring at all. So I'm gonna show you a couple outfits a little bit later, but we have this very cool printed lean legging that is going to add some really fun um, flair to anybody's shape. And there is some really cool of the moss yellow greenish color that we have in this jacket that I'll show you later. But think about the things in your body that you truly, truly love. So for a diamond, 100%, legs are gonna be the easiest thing to cover. So after I come back, I will show you some fun outfit ideas to dress your top half with. Rebecca? Okay. Awesome. Well, I will just take you through the outfits that I have for pair or triangle. And then I'll throw it over to Amy and get ready for the hourglass after that. So um, first of all, I have got, um, I've got the dinner trouser here. And this is fantastic for um, a pear triangle um, or an hourglass because it's got a fantastic curvy silhouette already built in that the design team has done. It's got um, a really terrific, trim silhouette to back zip so it just keeps everything nice and slim and trim because it's designed to be more of a um, cigarette leg it cuts off at or just a little above the ankle so it really shows off your smallest part of the leg and i've taken you see that amy is modeling this beautiful corsage blouse so nicely but this is a piece that is fantastic for a triangle because it really brings the eye up. It gives lots of things for your eye to focus on. And the bishop sleeves just kind of help um, bring everything together. So you've got a terrific V neckline that is super flattering on many body types, um, but then just lots of design details. Now, as a triangle, we're again, we're trying to widen the shoulders and our Marnie blouse is a perfect option for that. It has um, built in structure in the shoulders for you. So it gives an extra little oomph to the shoulder. Now this is not like your 80s poofy sleeves. Don't worry. It just gives you a little bit extra and we're all about the extra with the pair. Again, a nice deep the neckline is very slimming and elongating. And I have paired it with our Academy trouser, which is our trouser of this season. And it's a fantastic fit for either a triangle or an hourglass. So it's, it's higher rise, it comes in, it's nice and slim and trim. And then it has a beautiful trouser leg, which again, just helps balance those hips. So you've got, some width down below um, that just balances everything out. Now, another sweet little piece is our um, turtleneck this season, the slinky turtleneck, and it has stripes that run across, which again, helps add a little bit of width up here at the shoulders. And if you're not a triangle and looking to add that width, throw a blazer over the top or throw a scarf in a V so that you can make this work for you. There's all sorts of fun ways that you can tweak things to make them work for your body type, but this has got a lot of structure to it. Um, it's very tailored. It follows the lines of the body nicely. 
And then I've paired this with our button fly straight this season, which again, it's just got a little bit higher rise. I'm calling it my re-entry pant for anybody else that's feeling a little fluffier than normal. Um, this is just a forgiving jean that feels amazing on the body. It looks incredible and it has a straight leg. So again, if you're one that maybe you've been wearing skinny jeans and you're thinking, hmm, I don't feel quite right in those, but I'm not ready to go with a full on trouser leg, a straight leg would be a fantastic intermediate option for you. Okay. I think that means you're done, right, Rebecca? Yep. Okay. So let me cover some outfits for you for the diamond. And as I said, you're fuller on top and through the center. So it's still really important to elongate your body and create some really great proportion. So the first thing that I wanted to pull out was our replay top. The reason I really love this top is it's nice and flowy through the body. There's also a V-neck, so that is going to elongate. Now, some of you may say, oh, but I'm too busty for a V-neck. That is easily taken care of with a little cami underneath. We don't need any cleavage showing if you're not comfortable with that, but it will elongate you through the body here. And then I have layered um, our little astral cardigan over it because again, it's a little roomy through the, through the body, but this one has a little bit shorter length, so it will draw the eye up. And when you pair it back to that skinny jean, it is absolutely phenomenal. Another little trick you can do is get a long necklace, like our little stirrup necklace that has some length to it and really help kind of bring that line down through the area of your body that you know you feel is the widest part. Now, another great little top to put with the skinny jeans this season, I have both our Trinity cardigan that has a little more length. So you, I know a lot of women that are this body type, they tend to like things a little bit longer because they do wear leggings and that sort of thing. And so this definitely gives you the booty coverage. However, I have added a fun little flowery top underneath. Now this is our celebrity top. It has a functional zipper, which I think is really, really cool because you can layer a cami of a different color underneath and really open that up to your comfort level or just wear it completely zipped up. Um, but this has a set in peplum that's right where it should be. So it creates a little bit of curvature, but it's nice and loose and it's done by, with a little elastic. Um, so there's a little bit of stretch there. So it's not going to be uncomfortable on your body. And I'm going to show you something really fun with that in just a second. Now, what I wanted to show you truly was our ease pull like turtleneck. It's a fun little cow neck. Again, a lot of women that carry a lot of weight up here, they don't like anything too close to their neck, like a real turtleneck, um, but they also don't want a lot of cleavage showing. So a cow neck is perfect because it does create some length. The ease turtleneck is nice and roomy through the body. And this bright color is just amazing. Now, if you take our printed legging, that same color is in there, and I'm gonna see if you can even see that on the camera, um, but how fun to add some interest to that color. Now, if you need a little more structure or you want to dress this up a little bit, our um, touring jacket is the perfect way to add a structure to that ease pullover um, in a tonal look. It also, We'll bring the eye up a little bit more because this is a little more cropped. And then look how much dressier that's going to look with those leggings. So really, really fun. However, as I said, this is another great pairing. If you were to take that same um, celebrity top and pull that color out. So you have that peplum. Maybe this is something you're going to take back to your jean rather than a legging. And so you have that nice room through the tummy area, but you still have some structure and a really beautiful look. And look at that great capsule right there. Um, really, really fun. Now I wanted to show you two dress options 
um, that I think are phenomenal for this body type and I'll tell you why. This is our cuddle dress. It's a super soft fabrication. Um, it's, I believe it's a, it's model and spandex and it's got a little bit of rayon in it. So it's really, really lovely. It's a dark color through the body, which is always flattering and it ends at the knee. So your fabulous legs are gonna show even if you wear a riding boot later on as it gets cooler. But one of the greatest details of this is just this little seam that they did at the waist. I don't even know if you can see it on the camera. And then these panels down the side, right here at the waist with these functioning pockets really draw the eye up to a waist, but it's not clingy. It's really, really comfortable. And again, we have this fun little zipper v-neck. So you can kind of create that right where you're comfortable to elongate, add a fun chain to that, really elongate maybe a statement necklace. Now this one may be a little unexpected for this body type. If you love your legs, you can always have this trimmed to the knee. So I want you to keep that in mind, but let me show you why I really love this. First, we have a great scoop neck. So again, it's not too much of a V, it's not gonna show too much of your cleavage. Um, just like the cuddle dress, it has a little inset seam right at the waist. So it's going to help define and give curves. But then the best part is this little ruching detail that you can customize it. And it has just a real subtle A-frame to it. So it's gonna just drape and flow from the body. And it's just, <coughs> excuse me, animal print is a really great neutral of any kind. You can take that back to capsule back to a fun colored jacket. You can do it with even like this turquoise. If you really want to layer, I love popping color with animal print. Um, there's a little tiny bit of padding through here, but I truly feel like this dress has been so flattering on all of my women. Um, and we even offer this one up to an extra, extra large. So anytime a piece is offered up into that extended sizing, it's a good indicator that it's great on many body types, not just one in particular. And it's very, very flattering with some structure. And I think that's the one thing that's really important to know. Um, it really does not matter how you carry your weight, where you carry it. We all want shape and structure, but we need to be comfortable. And our design team has blown this collection out of the water. So that being said, I'm gonna turn it over to Rebecca and I will be back to cover my shape, the rectangle. Rebecca? All right, well with the hourglass, it's all about the waist. So if you have a true hour, hourglass shape, you probably love your waist most of all. And there's a few things that I like to do. First of all, OB belts are our friends. Um, this one is fantastic. It's a vintage White House black market piece, but it's black on one side and then the black and white on the other. But you can see by just taking this belt, I'm not gonna actually put it on, but by adding this in, you can see that that instantly brings your eye to the waist. Now, if I was to turn this over to the white side, it 100% would. A piece that I'm loving this season, again, for many body types is this King Cobra coat. This is in our beloved Ponte fabrication. So it's a very comfortable piece to wear. It's structured and yet it's stretchy, which is my absolute favorite. And Amy was just talking about animal prints and snake skin is the animal print to go to this season. And I have a feeling that it's going to continue for um, well beyond this fall for sure. But the great thing about this piece is when you're back away from it, it reads more as a solid. And then as you get up, you're like, oh, that's a snakeskin. So really fun, functional piece. It's got built-in um, details in the back that just really accent your waist, which is fantastic for an hourglass. But also because of the silhouette, it helps create the look of an hourglass, even if you don't necessarily have that as your shape. Now, um, a few pieces that I love is 
we're going to start with the arrows blouse and this is a really gorgeous three-quarter sleeve piece we've got elasticized details here that enable you to shoosh this up and have it right up um, under your elbow nice v neckline a very feminine ruffle and then we have a built-in waist here so this is a true wrap blouse it is beautiful on an hourglass figure because it brings that eye into the waist very naturally and i have paired that with the dinner trouser for a very professional look so you've got this fantastic prada inspired fabrication that again is stretchy it's fantastic i talked about it in the first grouping so um i won't go on and on about how much i love it here and then our tied up top now this is a piece that is another multifunctional piece you can tie it in the front, you can tie it in the back. I like it kind of tied off to the side when it's on the body, that just creates a little bit um, extra fun. And then you've got the tails going down the leg, which really elongates. And I, I've kept the Academy trousers here because again, it's a higher waist, nips in, it's got that beautiful silhouette that balances out hips. So these two pieces just work so beautifully hand in hand. And then this gorgeous adorned pullover that so many women have been loving. Now, this is another piece that you're gonna notice will work with many different body types. I think that Amy's showing it next um, as well, but I love the fact that it's very tailored. It follows the shape of the body beautifully. And so if you're wanting to really highlight your curves, this is a fantastic piece for you. And last, but certainly not least, is our cinch jean this season. Now, if you have been shopping Caddy for a while, you probably remember the old curvy fit. I was as sad as anyone to have that dis be discontinued, but this cinch is very similar in the silhouette. So it nips in at the waist, it's a little fuller through the seat and thigh, it just hugs those curves so very beautifully in a skinny jean. So those are some of my favorite pieces for the hourglass and how to style them. I cannot wait to see what Amy has for her tangle. Okay, well, of course we would have some duplicates, right? It would not be Style RX if Rebecca and I did not pull some similar things, but that should tell you really how vast this collection is and what it can do for you. So let's talk about a rectangle. I am a classic rectangle. In fact, my hips and shoulders are very much aligned with each other. And I do not, if you look at where my hands are, I do not have a defined waist at all. No matter how hard I try, I am not going to be getting any curves in there. So just like the diamond, it's important to try and create a curve wherever I can. Now, unlike a diamond, um, diamonds really have defined amazing legs. Um, rectangles generally do as well, but there's a little bit differences there. And really it's all about right here for us. Sometimes we tend to be broad in the shoulders and so we don't want a lot of color up here. Now there is an inverted triangle. That's the opposite of what Rebecca's talking about where you really need to balance your hips to your shoulders. A rectangle is very proportional. So the first thing I wanna show you is what I'm wearing and tell you why. So our amazing, I just lost the name of it. Is it the carousel? No, the corsage. I know I get the amnesia just when I need it, right? So our corsage blouse, I have been dying for this. I love this top. Let me give you a rundown of why. First, it has a great notch V-neck, which I absolutely need and love because it's going to bring the eye down through the center. Second, there's some really fun details in the bishop sleeve. And because I'm rectangle, I also have a sporty profile. So I want to be able to function and move and I can pull these sleeves up and I can shorten them, which is going to also create length and proportion. And then, the smocking waist. So if I were to untuck this and not even belt it, 
you're going to see that it naturally has some really great shape to bring the eye in and create that waist. Wearing it at mid hip is so flattering because it just blouses so beautifully. However, I do have it on with our patch pocket jean, which is my favorite jean of the season. And the reason I love that is because we're rectangle, a high waist is extremely flattering because it's going to hit more at the natural waist and really bring the eye up. Adding a belt is also going to bring the eye in. So with or without the belt, this top alone is completely flattering. I love the trouser jean because it helps actually create shape to my shoulders. Because I'm so square when I have a trouser jean, it actually brings the eye up to the belt and it just kind of gives that illusion of a little more shape through here. You'll notice- One second, Amy, I wanna in interject because that's such a beautiful pair of jeans, but for a triangle body type that I had talked about before, um, it is not the best option because of those patch pockets on the front. If you notice, they are beautifully creating some curves for Amy, what she wants and she needs. But for a, a, a triangle or a pair, that patch pocket is falling along the widest part of your body, which is making it look wider. So not the best option for a pair. Just sorry to interject, but wanted to point well, that that's out. That's fine. And I do think it depends on if you have a long torso or a short torso. Because I do have women that have a little weight in their hips and they like the trouser leg to balance them. So I 100% agree with Rebecca, but don't count anything out till you try them either because a lot can change. Rebecca has a longer torso than I have. And so sometimes even a real high-waisted jean, even though that's flattering on a rectangle, can almost make me look like my boobs are sitting on my waist. So we all have to kind of get in front of the mirror, right? This is going to be very individual. So we are covering some really good basic rules for you. And I love that point because it is all about the visual where you do and don't want it. But I actually do love this patch pocket for that reason. Um, and I love that the pocket on the back helps with the curves that I have a little bit of I can thank my mother for her Norwegian booty. So, okay, now let's talk curves again. Now, Rebecca showed this. I'm also going to show it for the same reason as this corsage top. It is a faux wrap with that beautiful little peplum. I don't have to do anything to get curves with this. Now, she did talk about her transitional jean. If you like that straight leg, but as she said, maybe you're you're not so comfortable with the width here, then go back to that button fly skinny jean or button fly straight, excuse me. It's going to be high and bring that eye into that waistline. Now, another one that I like to create a waist without having to belt is this one that she also talked about. It has just really great lines. Again, I love a little bit of a V-neck a lot of rectangle women have that sporty profile. And so some women would not be very busty um, unless they pay for that, right? So anything to kind of give you some femininity through the chest, also bring the eye to the waist is so incredible. The other really thing that I love as that sporty profile is our dinner trouser. Um, it just has a really beautiful lean line and it comes right up to the waist naturally with that back zipper and big panel. Um, and I'm going to show you two of my most fabulous favorite jackets mm -hmm. on the line for any body type, but the rectangle in particular because of the detail in the back. So if you can see, they both have this panel that goes right at the true waist and then they just flow down beautifully. This dinner jacket has a single button closure and a really nice lean line through the eye and then kind of an angled pocket, which also creates curves through the body. Um, but 
This jacket, our King Cobra jacket, is phenomenal for a rectangle shape. It just skims the body so beautifully. Um, it has a little bit of an A-frame with that structure when it's on. So again, it has that beautiful curvy feel without it being um, romantic or feminine in a way that does not fit my um, profile, which is funny that I'm saying that with a floral top, right? Because <laughs> I actually do follow more into this type, but I have learned how to wear a floral really, really well. And actually I would print mix this jacket over top of it to ground the flowers down. But I love the structure of this jacket. Um, I talk a lot about Kate Middleton with this um, body type because she is so, so square that you will notice she always has very structured buttons right here at the waist and always has a nice little A-frame jacket on. That's one thing to watch if you see a celebrity that you think they're always dressed adorably, chances are you might align with either their style profile or their body type or both. And that's why you're attracted to them because we want to see how to dress ourselves. And so, although um, you may not like them all, there's going to be one or two celebrities that you always gravitate to. I love Kate Middleton. I love Cameron Diaz. Even though Cameron is more of an inverted triangle, I love Jessica Biel. They all have this kind of sporty, um, real rectangle shape and feel to them. The last top I want to cover with this body type is one that fits into that sporty profile, and it can go with any, but it is our recline tee. Again, you'll notice my theme here of V-necks. I just, I love them. Some of you may prefer scoops, but I love a V. The raglan sleeve is just a subtle way to be super comfortable in the shoulders. The best part is this little tie in the back. So it keeps it lean through the front, which we like, but from the back, which in all my cabbie addicts from years ago would remember me saying, they gotta have a good walk away, right? So as you're walking away, your shape and the shirt tail hem are going to be extremely flattering, even if you're just wearing this with a legging. So if I'm wearing a trouser jean, I'm going to front tuck the front and have that shape from the back because I do not want to cut my legs off. If I'm wearing a legging, I'm going to leave it down and let the shirt do the work for you. So such a great earthy color, really neutral. It helps all of those things. And um, I just think that learning to dress your body also brings confidence because you no longer have to struggle when you go to your closet and find those pieces. Rebecca, was there anything you wanted to add before we wrap this up? No, I think that you did a beautiful job. We did a beautiful job. Yay, okay. So this is Style RX for today. As Rebecca said, if you are watching this on IGTV, we always post it a day or two later. If you have subscribed to our YouTube channel, guess what? You will get that ding of the bell. As soon as we're finished, we load this up and go. So you can be the first to watch it. Please feel free to share with your friends, your family, and also don't forget our vast menu of services. Um, if you go back on a couple of our posts, both of us have talked about things that we can offer to work with you. We do private appointments. We can do style sessions. We can help you in your own closet. We can help you with just a small group of girlfriends and have that fun little glass of wine or coffee or tea, or even just my favorite, sparkling water, um, but there's nothing better than a safe environment where you're allowed to laugh and talk and cry and hug and all the things, right? And you don't even have to worry about wearing your Fitbit because we do all the work for you. So you get to sit back and just be entertained and then try on with all of your friends. So we hope that you're loving these tutorials. We will be back next week, so be sure to ring that bell and Again, invite your friends and family to both our Instagram pages and our YouTube channel. Thank you so much and we love you.